It was a strange place, a garden for the arrival of a king. Strange is certainly one place to think for it. But think about the Christmas story. You had a king arriving in a manger. So you've had somebody who's arrived on earth in an unassuming place. As far as his disciples were concerned, he's dead and died and not the tomb of a king. And now he's risen again in unassuming circumstances. It's, it's all very odd. Well, where's the guard? You know, kings you expect to turn up to see them. And there's immediate succession because one dies, the next one becomes king Im immediately the death of the previous one. There's no guards, there's no entourage, there's no palace. There's not the jostling of people trying to see the king and, you know, basically give backhanders to get to the front of the queue. It's a garden. And a garden that's unclean because it's some place that there are graves. Yeah. And where's the witnesses? Well, see us women. We're the ones that cause all the trouble. Absolutely. So women, they weren't reliable or considered reliable in law for giving testimony of proof? No, no, women were, well, the bit, the bit in John's Gospel where Mary is there and then she goes away and gets Peter and another one and they come and see the temple, the tomb, is thought to be an later addition because they're trying to prove, look, honestly, it was, it was actually witnessed by people who are supposed to witness it, not just women who are unreliable and particularly Okay, Mary Magdalene, we don't know who she was and what she did, but there's a reputation that Mary Magdalene was a prostitute. So, not just a woman, but a woman of particularly bad reputation. How dare she be the first person to tell people that Christ is risen? But we have this, this is where it all starts from. This is page one of the new story, page one of a new dawn, page one of a new day. And from here, the message spreads far and wide. That's the point. But is it a new day and a new dawn? Because the whole thing all started in a garden too. Maybe this was God's act to show that everybody could come back to the garden and know God's love for them. Amen. Let's come before God in prayer. Let us pray. King of King, Lord of Lords, forever is Christ Jesus, who through his triumph over death opened the gates of heaven for the whole world. The power of death is overcome through the power of the resurrection, for Christ is risen, he is risen indeed. Risen white one, we thank you for your life. All you taught, all you showed the world. Your death on the cross, your burial in a borrowed tomb, your splendid resurrection, these we proclaim this day in our homes, in new and unusual ways. And we thank you this is still possible. We thank you this helps us to celebrate this day and feel connected with your church the body of Christ throughout the world. In the midst of recalling the joy of the resurrection once more this year, it is tinged with sadness. We cannot be with our extended families. May they feel our love even from afar. We cannot go out for meals May the staff and restaurants, cafes, pubs know their worth as human beings. May their families be cared for. May they have enough to live on until this is all over. Life giving one. You showed the power of death is overcome. That brings little reassurance to those in hospital suffering from coronavirus and other life-threatening illnesses or their families who
who cannot visit or hold their hands. Surround them with your love through nurses, doctors and all hospital staff who they will encounter. We recall the bereaved for whom this is a much harder situation than normal. They cannot hug their loved ones or sit holding their hands during the service. They may not even be able to go to the funeral. Oh, what heartache, what pain. May your love be known through the funeral directors, those who lead funeral services, and be with those who support the bereaved as they work to help in new and difficult ways. Resurrected ones, there are many places, many peoples, many situations lying on our hearts this day, which we struggle to find words to express our joy, our pain, or our concern for. In a minute of quiet, we offer them to you. Lord Jesus Christ, hear these our prayers, spoken and written on our hearts, offered through you, God the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forevermore. Amen.